In this lecture, we will understand how we can calculate the complex exponential Fourier coefficient Cn using the Fourier transform. We know Cn is the part of complex exponential Fourier series and we also know that Fourier series is only used for periodic signals. signals. So let's take one periodic signal Yt and this periodic signal is having the complex exponential Fourier coefficient equal to Cn and Cn is equal to Xn omega naught divided by T naught where T naught is the fundamental time period and now we will understand what is Xn omega naught. We are having the rectangular pulse train as the periodic signal Yt and I will choose the center rectangular pulse. We will choose this rectangular pulse and we know this is a rectangular function and we have already calculated its Fourier transform. Its Fourier transform x omega is equal to a naught tau sampling omega tau by 2. Now let's say omega is equal to the fundamental frequency omega naught. So we will have x omega naught equal to a naught tau sampling omega naught tau by 2. Now let's say we are having the nth harmonic. So we will replace omega naught by n omega naught. So we will have x n omega naught equal to a naught tau sampling n omega naught tau by 2. So we have x n omega naught it is equal to a naught tau sampling n omega naught tau by 2 for the rectangular pulse strain and c n is equal to x n omega naught divided by t naught. So we can say that coefficient c n is equal to a naught tau sampling n omega naught tau by 2 divided by t naught. So this is how we can calculate Cn using the Fourier transform. Now what if the periodic signal is having the triangular pulse strain? If we are having the waveform like this then let's see how we can calculate coefficient Cn using the Fourier transform. Cn we know is equal to xn omega naught divided by t naught. We can calculate t naught from the waveform and to calculate the Fourier transform xn omega naught we will choose this central triangular pulse and using this we will calculate the Fourier transform. If you remember we calculated the Fourier transform of the triangular function and we found its Fourier transform equal to a naught tau square of sampling function and we will do the same thing in this case also we will replace omega by omega naught and we will replace omega naught by n omega naught this will give us x n omega naught and it will be equal to a naught tau sampling n omega naught tau by 2 square and then to calculate cn we will divide x n omega naught by t naught so we will have a naught tau sampling n omega naught tau by 2 square divided by t naught so in this way we can calculate coefficient cn when we have the triangular pulse strain now what if we have trapezoidal pulse strain in that case select the central trapezoid and then use the method of differentiation to calculate Fourier transform x omega. We have used method of differentiation in many examples so it will not be difficult to use method of differentiation to calculate Fourier transform of a trapezoid and once you have Fourier transform repeat this process and calculate Cn. And now we will understand how we are getting Cn equal to xn omega naught divided by t naught. We know Cn 
is equal to 1 over t naught integration over one time period or we can say integration from minus t naught by 2 to t naught by 2 signal xt multiplied to e power minus jn omega naught t dt and we also know the Fourier transform x omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity signal xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt now let's say omega is equal to n omega naught so we will have xn omega naught equal to integration minus infinity to infinity xt multiplied to e power minus j n omega naught t dt now if you see this signal you will find it is non-zero from minus tau by 2 to tau by 2 so we can change the range of integration in both the integrals the result will not change so we will have integration minus tau by 2 to tau by 2 and here also we will have integration minus tau by 2 to tau by 2 now compare cn and xn omega naught you will find this part in cn is equal to x n omega naught so cn is equal to x n omega naught divided by t naught so I hope you now understand how we are writing cn equal to xn omega naught divided by t naught.